I'm a big believer that certain things uh, don't translate well to online tutorials. I was having a discussion recently with, with my friend uh, Alex McLean, and uh, we were saying uh, that there's no good noise reduction tutorials, and that's because a lot of those things are so subtle that once you compress it and put it online, the subtlety of what you were looking at is lost. Now, slow motion might be one of those things, but I want to just today I figured out something in After Effects, and I probably should have known this a long time ago, but I didn't, so uh, bad for me, good for you. So I'm sharing you this, and I don't know, maybe you already know this. So here's a clip from a shot uh, from a piece that I was cutting. Uh, this is the clip playing in real time. Okay, so girl stands up, her hair goes flippy flop, and then she starts to yap her lips. Okay, she starts to talk and nod. Well, we really just wanted the hair. Like, we want about, you know, that much of it. Uh, but I want to slow it down and make it, you know, more beautiful and lovely. So, when you put it into the, into the final cut, and you do the typical, you do, uh, what is it, Command J, you dial in a new, a new duration, say 50% rate, and you turn off the ripple so it, it so it doesn't ripple and now you're gonna get this effect and it's all staccato and, and again some of this may not translate well to the web so what I really want to do is show you how I got to here which I think is much more nice and this is a nice smooth slow-mo as done in um, After Effects and yes even if I were to render this one uh, it's still going to look kind of staccato-y. Okay? So, uh, what I've done is I've exported that clip and I've put it into the After Effects, the full length of the original clip, and then we'll drag it down here into uh, the Make a Composition thing, and now it's in a comp. Okay? So the first step you do is you go up here and you go to uh, Layer, Time, Time Stretch, and what we're going to do is we're going to make this twice as long, which means we give it a stretch factor of uh, 200. Yeah, it's kind of it, this always confuses me because it works different than in, for me to make it slow motion. I stretch the factor to 200, whereas in Final Cut you change it to 50% speed. Whatever, it's weird. So I click OK, and um, let me think. I guess I should render this. Turn the noise off. So it's still staccato-y, and that's not what we want. So here's the thing I just learned today. I've done the speed change. I need to come over to this little guy, and I need to click it once to there and once to there. Then I need to turn this little guy, enable frame blending, and then I don't think we need the motion blur. I'm going to try it once without the motion blur. Now I'm going to render it again. It's going to take a lot longer to render, or pre, excuse me, RAM preview. Uh, luckily, it's a nice short clip. And now when it plays, it's smooth. Yeah, I don't think we need the motion blur thing. Let me just double check this. We'll turn this on. We'll turn this on. That's usually for just animating things across the screen faster. So I don't think that's going to affect us here. Because although there is motion blur in our hair, it's not... Uh, yeah, that's no real difference. So anyway, that's the trick. You got to do this little frame blendy thing, and and you have to make this little cross thing be a a solid um, what's that called? A little solid slash in that box. Kick this guy out. Take it back in your timeline. Lay it in. Everything's beautiful and lovely. So that's a uh, high quality slow mo in After Effects. Later.